Good evening and welcome to The Experts, where we discuss the latest headlines of interest to me. My first guest is a renowned psychic medium who also happens to be terribly afraid of ghosts, Armand de la Vega. Welcome. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much for having me. It's a very big pleasure to be here, as well as extraordinarily terrifying, oh. as there are tons of dead spirits in this room oh, right now. Oh, that's strange. Why is that? Uh, there was a big uh, execution style uh, killing here. In this TV in this studio. In this very TV studio. You know, it's studio. weird because Sally Jesse Raphael used to do her show from here. Oh, well, I think we're all putting two and two together. Like <laughs> also joining me is a person who describes herself as a vegan goddess. Please welcome Shay Campbell. Hi, Brian. Hi, Thanks Shay. for having me. Um, actually, a lot of people describe me as a vegan goddess, not just myself. So, And finally, the criminal mastermind who has been terrorizing McDonald land for years, the Hamburglar. Rubble, rubble, right? <laughs> that's, that's the catchphrase. That sure is. Uh, you honor me with your invitation, and I am glad to be here. All right, the Bloomberg soda ban. Oh. Last week, the mayor of the city proposed a, a citywide ban on sodas over 16 ounces because of the sugar content making everybody fat. Uh, what do we think about this, uh, Armin? What do you think about the government stepping in and telling us what we may or may not purchase? Well, I think that they're just going a little bit over the line because every now and then uh, you need something to comfort you. And for me, comfort food includes soda. It includes what I like to call a buttercream French toast, which is just French toast covered in buttercream. And I don't want the government coming in and telling me what I can and cannot eat. That'd be terrible. Also. I need those types of foods because I live in a home right now, my own home, which is just occupied by tons, tons of spirits with unfinished business. I mean, there's one that just won't, she just won't go away. She looked nice at first, but I think she's just staring at me just all the time, just looking at me with the eyes. I'm like, what do you want? Do you want, if I could give her soda, <laughs> maybe that's what she's looking for. Does she for. say anything? Is she saying anything? No, it's mostly as if she's walking backwards, but she's walking towards me. Shay, uh, do you have a problem with the government stepping in saying, I'm sorry, you can't have anything more than 16 ounces of that? I mean, I guess I don't, because they tell me I can't have any ounces of marijuana, and they tell me that I can't have so many boxes of Sudafed, and they tell me that I can't, you know, buy cigarettes if I'm under 18, and they tell me that absinthe is different in this country and not legal the way it is, you know, in other countries. So, yeah. yeah. Hamburglar. Well, there's an old saying in the Hamburglar family, and that's the, the law is the beginning of a long and dangerous conversation. It may be illegal to sell large amounts of soda, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stop. Uh, Ray Kroc is a lifelong friend of mine, and I, I am on founder pro of McDonald's. Founder right? of McDonald's right. Corporation, uh, and you know, I actually I, bought it from the McDonald's brothers. Okay, know your enemy, know your enemy, people. Wow, mm -hmm. know your enemy. I don't recommend knowing your enemy because if they are dead, they're going to come after you, and they are going to scare the ever living, you know what, out is. You must have trouble sleeping. I haven't slept in two days now, wow. but that's okay because I'm planning on taking some pills soon. Oh. All right, let's move on to drone strikes. Oh. Uh, Jeremy Scahill, a uh, journalist who was on MSNBC, came out and said that drone strikes are flat out, quote, murder. Mm. All right? Uh, he's citing a one instance where a drone strike killed 21 women, 14 children. Do you think we're breeding future jihadis with our foreign policy? I mean, Do you think Barack Obama, first of all, is committing murder? You know, Brian, we can't decide in this country. We can't decide what's murder and what isn't. Because, like, it's not okay to kill a bunch of women and children, but it is okay to kill a bunch of innocent animals who didn't ask for that. Like. Well, what? Why? Like we're talking about humans. We're talking about humans in a foreign country, sovereign soil, getting getting pelted with predator missiles. Yeah, and I think it's wrong. And I also think it's wrong to like pen up a bunch of wild animals who didn't ask to be penned up, and like kill them. Okay, so, I mean I know your position is that meat is murder. Uh, all the way around, man. Song. But Killing we're talking, women and children. Okay, so you're, you're wrong. You're in agreement. Killing okay. animals, wrong. Killing someone right here, wrong. Like this plate right here to me. This looks like a plate of corpses, okay? okay and it's making me cheeseburger. almost throw up. Okay. All of the seaweed that I've eaten, which is a lot of seaweed, because I make it, the seaweed chips at home myself. Uh -huh. If you'd like to order, you oh, can dear. check out Vegan Goddess. It's a website. Hey, this I'm, is making me sick. Hi, Virgo, you want to jump in? I think I can speak to the issue of uh, creating, fomenting dissent and making future jihadis. In 1972, Mayor McCheese authorized a fry guy to hide in the rafters of my house lower a string from the ceiling of my bedroom and attempt to drip poison down the string into my mouth. Luckily, my life was saved by my restless sleep. But I will say this, at that point, I only became more resolute in my determination to steal all of the hamburgers and cheeseburgers of McDonaldland. 
So, so you're, you're saying, yes, we are creating a future generation of jihadis with this policy of, of basically bombing the crap out of people with, yeah. br with drones. If you, if you dare to become a monster, uh, you will, you will sow the seeds of, of monstrous behavior. Quote the hamburger. Man, you got to cut that meat out of your diet for serious, man. I feel like you're missing out on a lot of really nice different levels of emotion that you could be having. Yeah, so you're saying meat influences your emotions, protein? Hey man, what you eat influences, what you put into your body, it's all connected, Brian. Man, what do you didn't I hear that you just hurt your knee? Yes. You should be eating green, plant-based stuff, man. Uh, I, I eat plant-based stuff. Great. And Tylenol codeine. No. It may be interesting to note that I've never once in my days eaten a hamburger or cheeseburger. You're what? a vegan man? I am a vegan. Do you want to share some of my vegan cupcakes? Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, my goodness. I steal only to placate uh, a need to, to see others suffer. So you're not stealing hamburgers for your own personal gain? No, not at all. I'm very well off. I wear a cape. I'm a duke. Uh huh. Uh, in the hills surrounding McDonald Land. So I didn't realize. So you're actually royalty, you're yes, nobility. Am. I'm a, and I'm a gentleman thief. I, I steal for the sport of it. You're like a Robin Hood. You, you steal hamburgers. I just throw them away. I don't know what Robin Hood he gave. He gave to the he poor. He had some system, but no, yeah, I, I, just, I just junk them. Uh, all right, let's move on to Hero Gate. Hero. Which is uh, over Memorial Day weekend, uh, MSNBC host Chris, ha Chris Hayes uh, said he was uncomfortable using the word hero to describe soldiers who've died in combat. Created a huge flurry of, of you know, outrage, and, and of course he had a groveling apology a few days later. Uh, first of all, is is the word hero overused uh, post Vietnam? I don't know if it's overused so much as it's misused all the time. To me, uh, a hero is somebody who can um, close unfinished business, who can really um, make a family feel a lot better knowing that, they, you know, that maybe I said, oh yes, no, uh, you were you're supposed to find the locket, and when you find the locket, then um, the ghosts will go away. That's what a hero is to me, it's really helping a family um, solve, a, uh, solve a, some sort of ghost problem. The fact that I'm just able to move throughout my life, and I'm, I was able to get here today, is, is I think heroic in nature, right. if that makes sense. So I think people misuse it. Shay, uh, the word hero, do you think uh, it's an outrage what, what Chris Hayes said or do you think we all just need to relax? Let me ask, are people outraged because, he, he, because they think anybody who dies in the line of service should be a hero? Is that what we're saying? I, I get, I, I, the sense is that he was not... So I've got millions of cows and millions of chickens and millions of pigs that I want to call heroes and I want to erect a memorial for them and I want to be able to touch their name on a wall, okay? Because they died giving service to us. Well, right? How many how many little guys do you think are in here right now? Huh? Uh, well, it's McDonald's. So how many are we? Bum, ba, na, bum, ba, na. Are, are we, we honoring them? Are we giving them the taps? Huh? Yeah, I mean, it, obviously. I mean, it, it, it's a cheeseburger. It's not a soldier. <laughs> it, 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 no, these, they were not killed in the line of duty. They were killed in a. They were killed line. giving service to this country. Are they giving lunch to the country? No, oh, no so I don't equate I don't equate cheeseburgers with military service. I don't even know where you are, man. Uh, can we move on to Hitler? Because he never goes out of style. Mm. Uh, so New, New Jersey Superior Court judge ruled that, that the parents who named their children after Nazis uh, can't have custody of their children again. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a family. They name, they have a few kids here: Adolf Hitler Campbell, Jocelyn Aryan Nation Campbell, and Noshlin Hitler Campbell and Hans Campbell. Uh, no relation. No relation. No Good. relation. I well, believe it. I'm, yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I'm not a, a... My parents made up my last name. It's, a, it's just a bunch of letters they liked. You really? Because to, it's a popular last name. Is it, you know, should you lose your children for giving them stupid names like Adolf Hitler Campbell? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, I've unfortunately met Adolf Hitler through my work. Oh. Not by choice, trust me. That was that was the weird night. It was just I was I was just playing Scrabble with myself and uh Adolf just showed up and this just happens every now and then. And let me tell you something. I I mean just from the one interaction I had with that man, he you know, he was somebody that was trying to get me to cheat at cheat at the game. Yeah, he was just a bad person. Hamburglar, what do you think about uh, people with bad names losing their, their parents? Well, I, I commend the parents for their uh, proud anti-societal stance. Uh, this, this journalist who called soldiers cowards, uh, I understand his, his deal. And these parents, I like what they've done. Uh, the tr power needs someone to stand up to it and say, why are you here? Who are, what are you doing? 
Uh, I have a daughter that I fathered through conjugal visitation, and her name is Wendy Burger King Theodopolis, which is my last name. And I'm proud. I'm proud of the consternation that that causes. Uh, the the. And you love your child. Your child loves you, right? Yeah, we, we have a relatively normal uh, father-daughter she's, she's got a name, Wendy Burger King. That name might sell her later in life. She can always change it, but it doesn't change the fact that you love your child, she loves you. Well, I mean, sadly, I've missed most of her life in, in prison, and now it's just a, it's a matter of rebuilding and, uh, and, and you know, visiting and learning and, and uh, building a trust. This seems like as good a time as any to announce that I've kidnapped the son of Ronald McDonald. Oh, man. Hidden Hamburglar. Him in a secret location, and I got to him young enough that he doesn't know his father's face. So if I do not receive every hamburger and cheeseburger in McDonald land by the weekend, I'm going to raise Ronald McDonald seven as my own. And he will never know clowning. He will only know burgling. All right. Jesus. That concludes this week's BS of A. Is there anyone you'd like to see on The Experts? Then please email their names to the experts at GBTV.com. Like us on Facebook. Love us on Twitter. See you next week for a brand new BS of A. I'm Brian Sack. Good night, America, and sweetie.